morning guys today I'm filming a bit of a vlog style video um, I'm gonna start off with my workout which I do pretty much every morning at least five or six times a week and I always get asked what I do over on my Instagram so I thought you know what I will do a little bit of it over here um, and I'm working with a really cool brand today called Wild and this kind of pairs perfectly with them so I thought it was the ideal day to film a little vlog show my workout intro the brand once I've done that I'm gonna move on to a little makeup tutorial which is perfect for those of you that have mature skin so if you are like late 20s early 30s they're onwards going into mature skin this makeup brand is perfect for you it is perfect for any age i find if you have really young skin you tend to always opt for fuller coverage i don't know why because the youthful skin looks amazing with sheer coverage but this particular brand has been designed by a lady who is mature um, and it's not sponsored it's just something i've really been loving um, and i wanted to share with you guys so i will be doing that in a little while so let's start the day so the brand I'm working with today is a natural deodorant company called Wild. So these are an eco-friendly, sustainable brand. There are 100% natural ingredients in the deodorant. They are aluminium free, paraben free, sulfate free, and the refills are compostable. They are free of plastic, and yes, they are vegan friendly. So the case is made of aluminium and it's yours forever. So you can refill this. And as you can see, you can also have the case engraved. So it makes a beautiful gift and it comes in five different colors. So the starter pack comes with your forever case and three refills there are six scents available to choose from but there are more coming the refill packaging is made from bamboo pulp so it's 100% biodegradable so when you're done you can simply just pop it into your compost bin so this formula is a deodorant it's not an antiperspirant so it won't block your pores and it will keep you smelling fresh all day so I've just demonstrated how you put it together. As you can see, it's so simple to use. And I filled mine up with the new lemon meringue scent, which doesn't sound like it belongs in a deodorant, but I promise you it works. This pink case is part of the launch of fully supporting breast cancer now. So for every pink case sold for a week in April, 50p will be donated to BCN. I will link Wild in the description bar and don't forget to use my discount code for 20% off. So now I've got my deodorant on, I'm gonna start my workout. Today I'm doing shoulders. I've got my sister over to help me film a little bit of the workout. Every day I target a different muscle group. And I use a couple of different apps, which I will link below for you. They serve as a really good guide and also they do some recipe ideas. I use these loosely because I tend to do my own thing as I know what works for my body type. Hopefully these apps will give you some help and guidance if you are looking to train. I'm happy with my shape, I just want to continue to tone and just softly build muscle. So my warm up sets are two sets of 20 kneeling face pulls and then I move on to some shoulder circles, again two sets of 20. Now remember I'm no professional when it comes to working out, I literally just work out from home, um, I've given up the gym since the pandemic. So like many of you, I'm just finding my way on my own through some home workouts. Next I'm doing an overhead press. I've put the weights on the inside because they tend to knock the sides of my arms, so I find this works best for me. And I'm doing a bit of volume training at the moment. So I'm doing five lots of 15 reps with a 10 kilogram weight. And then some weeks I will do a heavier weight with lower rep ranges and sometimes less sets. I got this little bar on Amazon, it's really good because it can work like this where you can have the weights on the inside or the outside of your hands and you can also take apart the two handles at the end and use them as dumbbells. So I'll try and find that and I will link it below for you. Then I'm doing seated dumbbell press, again it's all shoulder workouts. I'm doing 5 sets, 12 reps and with 5k dumbbells. Much like before, when I'm not doing the volume training then I will go slightly heavier, maybe like a 7.5 and I'll do less sets or less reps. I don't usually do them in the doorway, it's just Callie couldn't get me in with the camera so I had to push myself between the door. Ever the professional. <laughs> Next up I'm doing a super set, I'm doing lateral raises with seated lateral raises. And I'm telling you, these are a killer. I'm only using 2.5 because I'm doing 20 standing lateral raises and then 20 sitting down and I tell you, it is a burner. So you're doing 200 reps with this super set. So 20 standing, 20 seated, and I'm repeating that five times. Next I will be doing cable rear delts of us at the gym, but because I don't have any cables at home, I'm using bands and I'm doing band pull-aparts instead. And this is kind of like a mind to muscle connection. You've got to think about not just pulling with your arms, but squeezing your shoulder blades at the back and using that as a force to pull the band. Five sets of 15 reps with a 30 pound band. 
And then to finish off, I'm doing face pulls again, but I'm not doing kneeling ones this time, I'm doing standing ones. And again, this is 100 reps, so we're doing five sets of 20 reps with 45 pound band. And then I will always run up and down the kitchen in between each set to get a little bit of cardio going on. So I've had a quick shower, I'm now gonna move on to makeup. This is the look I'm doing, it's a really easy, daytime appropriate makeup look. But it's so lovely for all skin types, but in particular, mature skin. Today I'm going to be using Trini London and if you've never heard of them, definitely check them out. So the majority of Trini London are cream based streamlined pots that stack together to prevent makeup bags overflowing and I think they're brilliant. They are so handy, so good. Obviously this wouldn't fit in your makeup bag like this but it's a great way to store it on your side. You can collect your eye pots and stack those together, base products stack those together so you know exactly what you're reaching for and they don't take up much space. So I will start off by saying this is not a sponsored tutorial. Some of the products were gifted and a couple I've bought since I received them because I thought they were so good I wanted to try a couple more. What I will say is really handy on their website. If you go on they've got a matched to me personalized quiz so you put in all your information and they will give you the best colors based on the information you've put in so whether that's base makeup for undertones eye colors that might suit you based on your eye shade so yeah it's really 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 good so definitely check it out I'm gonna link it in the description bar so on the match to me I picked out the all about skin stack which has Amelia which is the just a touch foundation concealer in one which is great for targeting areas that you need to cover like redness blemishes, uneven skin tone, candlelight, which is a beautiful highlighter. And I love that it isn't intense. It gives the most subtle finish to the skin. Great if you're more mature and you hate those kind of really frosted highlighters. Serena, which is a cheekbone color perfect shade because it is slightly cooler in tone. Bella, which is a lip glow, which is really pretty. That just gives a very subtle flush to the lips. And then the blush color, which I'm absolutely loving, which is this shade called Wix. It's a beautiful shade. And you can apply this with just your fingers or a brush, but the idea is that you can just dip in with your fingers, place it on and it's really easy. And you do want to make sure these are done up tight, but you don't need to hold them tight. You just wait for a little click and you simply stack them they just push on together like so really good and in that skin stack i also got this which obviously isn't stackable but this is the bff cream skin perfecter with an spf 30 and i got the shade light medium so let's start with this you only need a little bit comes out white like this has those tiny little micro encapsulated pigments which you might have seen before charlotte tilbury does one um but as you put it on I haven't even got a mirror. We'll come back to the mirror. As you put it on, it adapts to your skin tone um, and it just gives you a very subtle tint. Um, but it isn't so much a tint, it kind of just evens out your skin tone. So it instantly hydrates and wakes up your skin and it really boosts your glow and tones down redness. So if you are somebody who suffers with redness, I get a little bit around here. It's a great way to just even out your skin tone. It's a great prep for makeup, I love it. It's so nice, but if you're just sort of like on the school run or you're not going anywhere but you've got, you know, like shopping being delivered and you just want a little bit of something that makes you feel a little bit more confident, then this is really nice. This one is a great one. This is the BFF De-Stress. Now, what makes this special is that it deals with stress on your skin. It is a buildable tinted serum. I'll put the name of the technology they use on screen now for you. It deals with the cortisol on the skin and it also contains hyaluronic acid, which we know is amazing. It really boosts skin's natural hydration. Um, hyaluronic acid is something that kind of pulls water from the air to your skin. It can absorb up to a thousand times its weight in water. So it's a really great way to hydrate your skin throughout the day. It's a really lovely way of making your skin feel super youthful. Your skin looks so hydrated. Whether you're oily or you're dry, I still feel like this is a really great product. And especially if you have slightly more mature skin, this is beautiful. It's not heavy, but again, it is buildable. Um, and then you can go in with the Just A Touch foundation concealer to target those areas that you need a little bit more coverage. And the nice thing is this is so lovely to put on with your hands. You get a nice little massage on the skin. You can use a brush, but you really don't need to. Just get it on with your hands. It's lovely. 
forgot to mention that this one which I originally used which is the BFF cream only comes in five shades but they're universal shades because it adapts to your natural skin tone and you can see it's already evened out my skin tone it looks really really healthy and glowy um, and this will settle down a little bit because obviously it's freshly on the skin at the minute but since it starts to dry down it won't look as shiny I still always use a tiny bit of powder through the center of my face because that's me so if I just come in a little bit you can see how it sits on the skin it's so nice and it really has evened out my skin tone enough for me to feel comfortable that this would be enough for me for the day next I'm going in with the just a touch foundation and concealer in one again I've got the shade Amelia so again this is a cream formula you can just use your fingers it's super pigmented so the great thing is you don't need a lot it's a great way to tone down redness just target the areas that need a little bit more coverage and it's developed with anti-aging extracts the idea is that it helps to restore collagen so if you're mature middle-aged worried about fine lines and wrinkles at least when you put this on you know it's good for your skin a little bit more coverage across this part of my face which is just my cheeks I find if you make this area look a bit more flawless just through the center your whole face looks good because it's high in pigment you can make the actual product quite lightweight and it gives a really lovely radiant finish to the skin just use your ring finger to push it in it's the morning so my eyes look a little bit puffy so this is really handy because it helps pop a little bit on the outer edges because that's a really great way to make eyes look a little bit more youthful by brightening that area that part on your skin tends to get a little bit red and a bit thinner with age so if you brighten it it just makes it look fuller because that's areas here under the eyes where we start to lose a lot of fat as we age those are the areas that don't puff back up instead we get pockets in the wrong areas adding lightness to that area will make it look fuller a little bit around my nose because that's the area I get oily so if I've got a bit more product on there that's a little bit thicker than the tinted serum it's gonna last a bit longer so nice so comfortable to wear I just filled in my brows with my Urban Decay brow blade which I really love because it has that tiny little tip to it if you can see which is great and I will link that on screen for you how to use it before I do any sort of setting of my skin I'm gonna go with all my cream based products first next I'm going in with this color called Serena which is for your cheekbones if you want a little bit of sculpting this is a great shade so using my finger as you can see I've got a little bit on there we're going to find the hollows of the cheeks so sucking your cheeks when you find where the hollow is that's where you're going to pop your color into you don't want to bring it down too far that is kind of like in line with the end of your eye and then work the color upwards you don't want to drag it down because otherwise it will kind of make you look drawn in you want this area to still look prominent this area to look prominent and then just this area looks sunken that will give you a lifted look because it's a cream and we've got you know a nice creamy base it just blends in so lovely if you'd powdered beforehand you'd find it quite difficult to blend this in with your fingers probably get a bit more of a cakey finish so make sure you don't completely blend it all away you want it to be seamless um, but you kind of still want that little bit of a shadow you can swap fingers if you find that you've applied too much or you want a little bit of a softer finish so it's really subtle but it just gives a very soft contour to the cheek work the color down and then upwards so quick and easy to work with and then feather the color up with your fingers so this is matte so it's got no shimmery particles in it and the idea is that it works like a shadow so there's nothing reflecting light instead it gives the illusion of a sunken area I'm also going to take a tiny amount of that just down the sides of my nose we'll just give a little bit more shape and it will also bring a bit of warmth to the side of the face even though it's a cooler tone it will make the nose look less flat again so so simple to work with because the base makeup makes this really easy to blend into so just stipple over it you don't want to swipe it up or down you kind of want to keep it where you've applied it so just stipple over the top until you're happy don't blend it away completely but 
you don't want it to be visible like a dark smudge you want it to just look like a soft subtle shadow if you find you've got quite a big forehead and you want to kind of like sculpt it you can use that product i'm just going to use bronzer around the areas that i want to bronze rather than kind of changing the shape of my forehead so this is my eye stack as i said i was sent some and then i purchased some but today i'm going to use the color hope which I am so in love with at the moment. It's a beautiful shade. I'm gonna use it on my ring finger. So these are cream, but they sit in place and it won't move all day. I love this color because it's really similar to skin, um, but it has a beautiful sheen, a little bit of a peachy iridescent glow, which I really love. You don't need any brushes, just pop it on with your finger great if you've got slightly more mature skin um obviously great for any age but mature skin is a skin that tends to struggle with certain products because they don't always look so nice sometimes they can be a little bit more aging but all of these give you such a youthful glow to the skin so i'm just layering that i've allowed it just to sort of set in place a little bit that way it's a bit more accepting of a second layer so use a patting motion I'm going to use this shade called Victory, which is a beautiful, rich, neutral gold. So again, I'm just going to use my finger. I'm going to pop this on the outer third of the mobile lid. It doesn't matter if it goes up slightly, because you can just blend it before it sets in place. It add a very subtle contour to the eye. So it just gives it a bit of shape. I can't tell you how creamy these are. They're fantastic. Lovely. Years ago, people used to say that if you have mature skin or wrinkly lids, that you should steer away from anything that's reflective or shimmery. But on the actual mobile lid, this part that moves here, that's absolutely fine. I think it really does add a beautiful kind of youthful glow to your eyes. It makes them brighter. You just want to make sure that when you're working in the socket line, you're working with matte shades, um, and that will just give you a bit more shape. Softly run that. We're looking for real sort of daytime subtleness. My daytime looks are pretty similar because I know what I like, I like what I know. So I'm going in with the MAC Coffee Pencil. This is a great colour, it's a slightly harder pencil which is good because once you wear it onto the skin it means it's not soft enough to kind of print up on your top lid, it's not going to move throughout the day. So a harder pencil is always nicer if you want it to stay put. So I just like to run this along the top lash line and then just softly blend it in with my finger. Um, I've done this a ton of times, it just makes the eyelash line look fuller. I like to blend it out and then build it up so it's still soft but it gets a little bit deeper in tone you know me I always add a subtle wing just kind of lifts the eyes on the outer corner do whatever works for your eye shape I'm gonna pop a tiny amount of that on my lower eyelash line close to the root of my lower lashes and it darkens the root of the lash line but it doesn't look like you're wearing eyeliner as such I'm going to take Candlelight, which also came in my All About Skin stack. Um, I'm going to pop a little bit of that on the inner corner of the eyes. Very nice, subtle highlight. This can be as quick and as simple as you want. Next, I'm going to pop on some mascara. I'm using the Lancome Lashidol Mascara. This is the wand, which is really pretty. So it's just a quick coat of that. Along the waterline, to make it brighter, I'm going to use this Eye Bright Pencil by Swede Lashes. This is a really pretty kind of pinky tone, which will really brighten the eyes. So although we've got coffee pencil along the root of the eyelashes, we haven't got anything on the waterline, so we want this to be a bit brighter. This is kind of like the perfect amount of pink because it looks natural on the eyes. Some of the colours are too stark and it just doesn't look natural on the eyes, whereas this looks really, really lovely. I'm taking the shade Wigs, which is this beautiful fresh peachy pink coral tone and again it's cream so you just blend it in with your fingers really easy to use these pinky peach coral shades are great if you've got mature skin because they really do liven up the face and give a really beautiful youthful glow when i say glow i don't mean like reflective glow i mean looking healthy I'm going to add a tiny amount of bronzer, as you know, I'm going to use my Bare Minerals Endless Summer Bronzer. And I'm going to use my favourite brush, the only brush I've used so far apart from the mascara wand, which is my Zoeva 132 Luxe Powder Finish Brush. 
And this is just gonna go around the top of the hairline, so where the sun would naturally hit. Work it right into the actual hairline, especially if like me, you've got your fringe up slightly. So just above where we've applied the Serena cheekbone color and slightly higher than the flush color, we're gonna apply a bronzer. So work that in circular motions with a really light hand. Next I'm going in with candlelight, again from my All About Skin stack. Using the ring finger, you can just clean it off into the palm of your hand. Take a small amount, as you can see, it's so lovely. And pop that onto the high points of your cheekbone. Also pop a bit on your brow bone. It's so creamy, it's not frosted just kind of melts into the skin and gives the most beautiful glow. The last pot from my All About Skin Stack is this lovely shade Bella, which is the lip glow. So I'm gonna pop that on. Again, it gives a really subtle flush to the lips, adds a nice glow as well. So they look lovely and hydrated, so you look lovely and healthy. So comfortable and so natural. The last step will be to apply a little bit of powder. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder that through the centre just to get rid of a little bit of that excess shine just in the areas that it looks a little less sightly so simple so beautiful great if you're slightly more mature but as i said before suitable for all age groups i love that you can stack them together space saving streamline there are other brands that do hygienic sprays so if you're using your fingers and you feel like you want to give your cream based products a little spritz over the top um, before you put your lid on then you can do that it won't affect the makeup it will just stop bacteria forming when you're dipping your fingers in but again make sure your fingers are nice and clean before you're applying them into your pots and also before you're touching your face this is going to be kind of something i reach for on a daily basis because it's such a great way to make your skin feel hydrated and appear youthful and glowy even with oily skin i feel like i can get on with this turn my skin up close so massive thank you to Trini London for let me pick some items to choose and show you guys. They gifted them without obligation to share, but I absolutely love them. So as always, I will list and link all the products I've used in the description bar. Don't forget to follow me outside of YouTube over on my social handles, which will be on screen for you now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.